No. Okay, it's yeah. recording. It's We're on. Right, let, me, let me introduce um, Four Coaches Football Association wants to thank you, Coach Mealy, for coming in here um, out of your own time doing a, a football clinic for us. It's our last football clinic. I know we're all busy getting time for the football season, but you're a special one. You're, you got some New Jersey ties here, and we had to get you in here. Coach Sicardo gave me a call, so we got to get this guy. Tell me all the great stories. Um, we know where you're at right now, and I'm going to work backwards, but you're at Mississippi State right now. Currently, the special teams coach, you were a running back coach, also there too with Coach Leach. But you started your career at Partridge, right? In high school. Yep, yep. Yeah, back, back in uh, 1998, I think you graduated there. That's right. From there, you went to William Patterson University, where a three year starter, safety, and outside linebacker. Uh, four years there. From there, you coached at William Patterson University. You were the special teams coordinator and defensive back coach for two years. From there, you went to Marist High School, New Jersey, and coached one year. You were the co defensive coordinator and defensive back coach. And then you had one stop at St. Peter's College for one year as the wide receiver coach and pass game coordinator. So then you left New Jersey. And for four years, you went to Wingate University, was a special teams coordinator and running backs coach for five years. And then you jumped over to Washington State for nine years. And you were the running back coach, special teams coach, and assistant quarterback coach there. And then you left to go to Mississippi State, where you are currently a coach there for your third year special teams coordinator and running back coach. And I want to thank you. And that's a very impressive resume. And I love hearing guys that started in New Jersey and break out um, with that. So the short conference coaches here want to thank you for uh, coming here and speak, coach. It's all you. No, I appreciate it. Thanks for, uh, thanks for taking the time. New Jersey grinders were cut a little different. So it's been, uh, I'm glad, uh, I'm glad I was born and raised there and I'm still have some family there, but um, it's been a, been a fun journey. We guys give, give you a little something here and feel free to kind of stop me along the way. Any, any questions you have? Um, but, you know, today, I guess the request was, you know, why cross huge, huge concept for us. It's a nut in the bolt, you know, play of the air raid. Um, really it's an easy play to teach, you know, the quarterback with his eyes and the reads on it. And uh, we'll kind of, we'll kind of dive right in and kind of go from here. Let me go ahead and uh, show you what we're looking at here. Everybody good? We see that? Mr. Yeah, everybody, can you guys just turn off your mics so Coach can, uh, so there's no noise? Yeah, we can see it, Coach. Okay, all right, perfect. All right, so one thing, I'm just going to start, I'm going to throw one drill up here, and this is how we, we drill um, kind of all of, our, all of our pass game. We have a quick game period and a routes on air period. So uh, just introducing um, the, first, uh, the first way we run this, all right, out of two by two. All right, and personnel, it's a it's a progression read, which a lot of the air raid stuff is. All right, the first read is the X receiver. Okay, he's running a vertical, um, outside release, running a vertical. As we get into it, we'll kind of see, we want to hold all that space for the quarterback, running down the numbers and let that ball fade him and catch it over his outside shoulder. So he's the first read, number one, the X receiver. Second read is uh, H, he's the number two guy. We actually, uh, it's gone back and forth over the years. This route's been a pivot. It's been a speed out. This is basically, we've turned this into sale now. Sale's another air raid concept. Um, everybody's kind of got some version of it. Um, basically running a vertical, 10 yard out route. So this guy here has got the out. He's the second read. Third read is the, uh, the guy who plays named after. He usually catches the most balls. That's why. Okay, why is under Sam over to Mike linebacker. Um, he should be about 18 to 22 yards if he ran out of bounds. But somewhere once he hits the center here, he can start settling this route. All right. If the zone coverage, he gets to the middle of the field. There's a big hole there. He can sit it down. Man coverage will just keep running until he finds the next window, looking for the ball. It might be a second window zone thing. He can sit it down there. There's your third read. Fourth read on the edge. 10 yard stick to the post. 16. It's a post dig by the Z receiver. If it's man coverage, he'll actually, we'll have him now. He curls it up and works back to the quarterback. Uh, if it's a zone coverage, 
breaks it off and he'll sit down again when he comes to that first piece of grass there, the first hole, he'll sit it down. And the last read is the back, all right? And uh, it's never a bad option. Our backs have caught uh, the last two seasons. They caught 145 balls last year at the backfield. A uh, year before, something similar. Those guys will get you a first down. It's not a bad option to uh, to dump it down to them. So here's the drill. How can we run a lot of our drop back plays? We'll set up these pop-ups as uh, you know, signifying coverage, right? What kind of zone we're going to have, what the team we're playing against, what they what that looks like for them. And then we have the coaches that will adjust. Sometimes they'll tell you, hey, it's man. You see a guy break a route off, that type of thing. We have all these quarterbacks involved, right? All these guys are out here. There's five quarterbacks, all right? There's five uh, receivers running the route. We should see all these balls kind of in succession going to each one of the receivers. So, again, this guy's got the vertical. This guy's got the sail route. Y has got the cross. Z has got post dig, right? If it's man coverage, he's curling it up. And then the last guy here is going to be the back out of the backfield, out of ace or two by two. He's going to swing to the right. So go ahead and just play this. You know, and as you can see, again, make sure this guy's catching the ball over his outside shoulder. All right. The H is going to break it off at 10. If he feels like he's being chased, it's man coverage. He'll keep running. The zone, he'll sit. There's the Y. Okay. Y sits it down on the hole. All right. Here comes Z. Coach here, Coach Spurrier is kind of signifying this guy's jumping him. He's playing man. Boom. He's going to work back to the quarterback. And then the back out and flat late. Okay. So that's out of two by two. All right, here it is out of three by one. Um, the variation now is this same thing here out of X. Quick peek from the quarterback again, right? We're going to know right now if we're going to throw the vertical route. If it's press coverage and you like to match up, um, if the guy's playing way off, you know, we can throw it behind them. But, but you can really move off that guy pretty quick, all right? So um, back is on the other side now, away from the trips. Vertical is the first read. Y is the second read. Okay, this time we have the H. We've done various things with the, with the H here, okay? So here he's running. Uh, that's anything kind of a pivot route out. Uh, a lot of times we actually will throw him on a post. Um, that's kind of way we've been running the last couple of years. Um, and really it's, it's more of a clear out, but if that guy just comes scot-free and it comes into vision, we might actually throw that thing up there. So first read again here, second read, post, and this comes right into your vision, the post dig, and then the back is out the other way this time uh, late. So again, here's here's that routes on air, um, individual period, you know, group period we have here. And so boom, hold the space, catch the ball of your outside shoulder by the X. Okay, good job there. Here comes Y. Here's coach simulating somebody's in the middle of the field here. So he's going to make sure he keeps running, but it's still zone, finds the next piece of grass, sits down right in between these two bags, all right? So in the middle of the space. Here's the post guy. He comes in the vision. We let that one fly. And then finally, here comes the, uh, again, the post dig converts it to a curl versus man coverage here. Back in the flat, get in trouble, dump it out to him, break one tackle or make one guy miss. That's always a rule for those guys out there. All right, last set we'll throw up is uh, just out of 20 personnel. Uh, both backs are in, both backs are swinging. Actually, one of our best um, versions of running this play. For us, I mean, obviously, we throw the ball a million times a game. This is actually looks like a running set, you know, to uh, you know to our opponents. So they see two backs in the backfield. We'll get a little little tighter box, a little a little, uh, little tighter coverage, which is good. And then we'll uh, we, we still get all the grass for the, these three guys. So the same three guys. We're reading these three guys here, and the fourth read would be because it's again progression read. This is one. This is two. This is three. And then a back. The, take your eyes this way. The back to the flat to the right. If you get if you get big trouble here and you scramble. Then you go to the back to the left. So again, here's how that one looks in the routes on air period. The both backs flaring out. Now this guy's got a whole bunch of space to work. Okay. On. Sits down in that zone. Again, he catches over his outside shoulder. Z's working that man coverage. Both backs are out. Makes somebody miss. All right. So we'll kind of work right into the, uh, the game clips of this. Um, here's two by two. So same kind of succession we just did in the uh, that first piece. All right, so two by two here. Let's throw a little funny. Hey, coach, can you check to see if some people are in the waiting room? Yeah, let me see here. If you click for sit participants, they'll say some people are in there. Okay. Thanks. Okay. 
Can you still buffering on me? Sorry, technical difficulty here. This thing's freezing up. What's going on? Let me go ahead and just close this thing, get back into it here. Give me one sec. Anybody have any questions so far, man? Any of that stuff we just kind of ran over there? Okay. Yeah, Coach, I have a question. Yeah, fire away. Nice to meet you. Thanks a lot for doing this, Coach. Yeah, um, how much does the Y sit down, turn and face the quarterback when he's running that cross? Yeah, he, he's going to run and he's going to peak. You know what I mean? So if, if, the other part of that is he's also the natural hot guy. So if there's blitz, he's peaking right off the line of scrimmage. And it, he'd be the first read if that, and that was the case, all right? So – He'll peek at him. He's going to run. But again, once he kind of gets to the center is when he's going to start uh, getting ready to hook that thing up. If it's just a huge, open, you know, wide zone, we get a ton of drop eight coverage, right? Odd front, drop eight. Uh -huh. he's, he's going to turn around and kind of look at the quarterback. He is. Now, if it's one of those things where, you know, he kind of peeks in that first window, he feels like the second window is going to be a bigger hole, he'll keep going. And that's when uh, that's when he'll kind of settle up on the next one. Otherwise, he'll just kind of peek. If the ball comes at him, catch it. If not, just go to the next one. So it's more often than not that he'll turn and face the quarterback. He will. In the zone, he will. Thank you. Yep. Coach. Go ahead. Um, was there a problem with the timing, with the quick out in, in you know, the base play? Uh, is that why it was extended to 10 yards? I think it was, uh, it was one of those things where he would just move off him all the time because – um, he, he was looking to get, you know, some bigger money, but it kind of happened quick. He moved off him. We never, never hit the guy at all. Okay. So, you know, we figured the best thing to do then was, uh, you know, was, was to go ahead and, uh, and just make it a deeper route, you know? Yeah. Would it be too much to start off with that and, and, and the quarterback taking his, his quick drop out of the gun? I'm just asking because I'm playing with it. It, he takes like a like a, a a one step out of the gun to treat that concept over there as quick game, and then maybe and then kick back off of it if he decided to get away from the quick game concept to the Y cross to the post dig to the out. He'll, he'll it, just, yeah, no, he'll, he'll get to the Y pretty quick if on that quick out. That's that's the only issue, you know. Uh huh. So if it's a zone, we don't mind it taking a little bit longer as long as you can hold up up front. Right. Um, because it, it times out better, like like you said, you know, to, to kind of begin with. But if it's man coverage and you feel like you want to get the ball out of your hands a little quicker, you might be better off doing it that way, you know? Gotcha. Thanks, Coach. All right. I think we're good here. All right. Let's see. All right. So here we are at a two by two. Sorry about that. Two by two, vertical route here from X. All right, again, this guy, and then boom, he's going to peak, just like we talked about with the Y. Um, this guy is going to peak. If this guy's turned and he hit, flips his hips, he's going to peak at 10 yards. There's a decent back shoulder throw there from the quarterback. Can't see it, Coach. 
Can't see it. No. All right, hang on now. Okay, here it is. Do you see that? Yep. Okay, here we go. All right, back shoulder throw on the on the X receiver. Again, once he gets to 10, go ahead and peek. This guy's over the top. All right, and he, and he goes ahead and deals with him. Good job by him. We always tell those guys. Throw it to the, uh, you know, the ass cheek away from coverage, right away from the defender there. It's like guy kind of puts that inside foot in the ground, the receiver does, and when it works his way back outside. So good, really good throw by the quarterback there. And it's a little tighter coverage, you know, against man coverage, but still uh, works out to be a good play. And we'll kind of just keep working our way down the line, the different receivers on this. This is, again, out of two by two. All right, so here's the, uh, here's the H. There's a guy we were just talking about, 10 yards. Obviously, this is a big zone for him. We tell X outside release to get the corner's eyes out of it. He turns. He knows he's got a hole here. And he's just going to kind of work his way and work that grass right there. So first read. No, he's off of that guy. Boom. H, there's your second read. Okay. Again, H. Okay. This guy, boom, peeks at X. You know, he's looking for that same throw we, should, we kind of saw in the first clip. This guy bails way over the top. This guy starts running underneath. He knows right now he's got H. H now doesn't even run really that at sale. He's just going to sit it down right there in the, in the middle of space, right in the grass. If you're open, stay open. You know, don't, don't run to get covered. Okay, we'll go H again. <laughs> All right, this is a little more out of a, out of a tight formation. So we we uh, condense the splits a little bit. All right, and this time, same thing. So watch, he's watching the outside release from X. He's waiting on H because he sees the leverage here, too, on top of it. We tighten down this formation. This guy's inside of H. This safety's way over the top. As soon as he breaks this thing, we'll know right now. We're just kind of looking at him. We're peeking at him in the X. He turns with the X. We know we got H coming. That's a good, pretty just rhythm timing. That's kind of how we, uh, how we expect it to hit. All right, let's get into uh, let's get into Y a little bit. All right, X, he's off X. This guy's diving underneath like he did before. This time the backer pushes out to H. So again, that progression read, one, two, three, four, the back. So as he just keeps moving his eyes from left to right, here comes the Y, okay? So now the Y, he peeks, right? He sees this guy, you know, underneath him, so he knows he has to keep going. He's in a hole. Ball gets delivered on time. Z curls it up in this space here. He would have to start working back if he's to read. Back gets held up in protection, but uh, pretty good, pretty good throw catch there. Okay, another one with the Y. Again, the condensed splits over here, trying to give us a just a pre-snap read on who we think it could go to. And we, again, we say under Sam over Mike gets a little uh, a little uh, liberal here, which is kind of the rule, but. He knows where the grass is going to be because his free safety is so deep. You kind of thread the needle in between the both of those guys there. So X, he's off of X. H has got a defender underneath of him. Here's the next read. Next read had a peak. Boom, he's open. He hits him. Okay, again, the condensed split here on that, on that front side. And here's Y working to the next hole. Now we get to Z, right? Y is not there. Z is in the space. Z starts working back, right? Because now they're in, uh, all, you know, dropping all kinds of people. We just need to find the next window. X, H, Y, Z, back in the flat if he doesn't have him. Okay. Moving on to, uh, to three by one. And again, we kind of went over this variation of it already. So now you just have the uh, you got this guy here is going to going to run a post. All right, this is coming from the uh, the H number two receiver here, the trip side. Again, he'll peek at X. You know, we say outside release, but here we actually sometimes we'll post this guy. All right, this is a, this is a variation. So when we game plan with uh, with coach, every position coach goes into their meeting room. We all come up with our own game plan. All right, everybody has one. So it's. Uh, I'm going to do my red zone goal line. I'm going to do my open field, uh, my third downs and all that. 
the line coach does the same thing, receiver coaches do the same thing. Then we get together, right, as a group, we put all our plays on the board. So for Y cross, somebody likes it out of two by two. Somebody likes to post a guy, the X receiver. Somebody wants to run motion in at a two by two to trips and post a guy. Uh, so we have all these different variations. So we want to do the condensed version that we just saw. So we have seven, eight ways to run the play. We can only pick two to three of those to go into the game with. That's that small little piece of paper we're joking around about that, that Leach is looking at. Um, we can't practice those enough during the week to carry seven or eight versions of it. We want to carry two or three versions and make it adaptable to any kind of coverage that comes out at us. That's kind of going back to just the progression read and, and uh, where the quarterback's eyes are and what, and what he's looking at. So here we got the post on it. We felt like we'd have a, we'd have a shot at that. Um, and sure enough, he, uh, he was able to uncork that one there. Okay, we'll go to the next guy. So boom, he's, he's looking at X. Now you got a whole shot here potentially. All right, but here comes your Y. Again, he stays on the run. There's, there's too many guys. There's not space here. There's not a window here. Your biggest window, your biggest piece of grass is the next hole. So he just keeps running. He peaks, kind of looking back at the quarterback ball comes to him. All right, pretty good job there by him. Okay, same thing here. So now, again, zone, zone, man. We're, we're looking. That's kind of what we're looking at first. Getting back to the uh, the hot route question from four. All right, here's why somebody inside of him. All right, first guy inside him, backer inside of him, triggers. All right, this is an odd front. The two stand ups. He triggers. It's a natural hot. Automatically, it's a hot. It's a two step slant from Y. Boom, ball. All right, so quarterback just sees that based on the front. It's hot. Boom, delivers it on time. Okay, still we're still in three by one. Ken Wise under Sam. He's getting mugged up. Got to go to your next read. Okay, works all the way back. Really good job by Z here. All right, because the back gets uh, the back's out going out the other way on this one in this version of three by one. So as he's working his eyes, all right, no on X, no on the uh, no on the Y. The post is covered up. Z has to work back versus man, has to work back to the quarterback, straight back down your stem. Good job, uh, good job staying on the run there and man coverage. Okay, again, now we got now we got everybody getting mugged up. There's underneath defenders. There's a guy over the top, he goes through his read. X, the Y, no, peak at eight, Z, back in the flat. And again, back's job is always just to. Catch the ball. We tell all the receivers the same thing. Catch, tuck, turn, straight up field. Whatever number the quarterback hits you on, you've got to trust that he's taking you away from coverage. If he hits you that way, turn that way, uh, get straight up the field. Straight up the field, make one guy miss, break one tackle. All those, uh, all our skill guys, kind of the same thing. Again, this naturally takes him out on his route. So good job, good finish there by him. Okay, same thing, three by one. So X, no, take a peek at X, doesn't like it, sees the coverage underneath, doesn't have a window. Somebody's not covering the back in that case. So they're, jumping, they're dropping that deep, all right, that fast. All right, good and easy, just an easy first down. That's a, that's a pitch and a catch. That's a version of us, you know, you know running the ball, honestly. It's, an, it's a sweep, you know, it's an extended handoff. Good job there, all right? So getting it back into uh, 20 personnel, that, that last piece we talked about, two backs in there. Uh, both guys on swings, still going through that same kind of uh, left to right progression. Here, X likes X. Man coverage. This guy gets on top of his feet pretty quick, stems him. He's going to throw the ball over toward the outside shoulder here. And that's the spot where that we kind of, you know, teach him in our, uh, in our phase drill. Post practice, we run this uh, and do it quite a bit. So um, that's pretty, it looks pretty routine. If you watch the practice, it kind of looks like the same, same throw you would see there. You know, a lot of these, one thing about to say about verticals too is, you know, you don't need a kid that can throw the ball 60 yards down the field. We don't ask our quarterbacks to do that. We're asking them to throw a ball on time as soon as he's open, right? Which could be, means he needs to throw a 35 yard pass maybe, you know? So once he gets on top of that guy, stems him, works over, you know, then let it go, get it out of your hands, put some good air on it, let the receiver adjust. Okay, so we're going to the next one. Again, peak at X. Here, I think he's just giving, just giving him a chance to make a play. 
really more of a, more of just a confidence chemistry thing on those two. But again, the first read, they're in man coverage. You know, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. All right, let her rip. Working our way down the line. Okay, here comes Y. All right, and Y again. Y is going to curl over this backer. There's his window. He's going to peak. He doesn't stop and face the quarterback here because it's a smaller window. He's just making sure the ball's coming or not. Uh, if he is covered, then he'll just keep working his way. Again, 18 to 22 out of bounds. So that path would take him over here somewhere. Okay, sticking with this. Again, we're back to the hot. All right, so one of your backs gets gobbled up. The Y is still the hot, two-step slant. He's looking inside. These guys trigger. Ball comes his way. You know, it's a shoestring tackle. Otherwise, that, that could be all of it. Good job recognizing the blitz. Okay, next one. Same thing, looking at Y. All right, Y has got a guy chasing him. He's got a guy over the top. What's that telling the quarterback? That's telling the quarterback that the next guy is going to be open. There's two guys covering one guy. Single coverage where he works to this next window. Um, there's nobody here kind of occupying this space. So that safety's chasing Y. So he stays on the move there. Okay, good pick up there, first down. Here's a couple of uh, – I'd be remiss since I coach these guys to throw a couple of these running back scramble plays in there. We run this drill on our Thursday practices. Every guy has a landmark. All the receivers have a landmark. So we'll call a play. Uh, in this case, we'd say, hey, let's let's run, you know, our two by 295. We all run the route. Boom, we scramble. All the quarterbacks blow out of there. Everybody goes to a different landmark on the field. Um, and here, just for the backs, right? Backs just running a swing. As soon as the quarterback moves to him, right, he's going to turn out to a little angle route. And this is, this is again, this is kind of design stuff for us. So good job staying on the move. But again, the reason why probably nobody's open, again, we're looking at um, way off. This guy's getting underneath man and man coverage here. Okay, Y's got a bunch of traffic. And then boom, stay on the move. So once that quarterback rolls to you, everybody starts heading to uh heading to their landmarks. You got a couple of these. Again, here's that, you know, drop coverage, three-man rush, no windows, start moving. Probably could hit me a little sooner. All right, they drop that deep, the patch out there, a bunch of grass, a bunch of space by himself. Okay, next one. Play fake. Boom, he's out late. He starts scrambling, comes to me, head up to he starts heading up the field. A little bit better of a ball. This would have been a touchdown. All right, good, good play, good catch. But those guys always late. Those are the guys you want to find. You get in trouble, find your back out of the flat. And we, we talk about that all the time. It's quarterback's best friend, uh, two of our better players. They can uh, they can always make one guy miss, break that one tackle, and, and we're in business. Okay, a couple one other little drill. I just want to throw in here too. Um, releases. We do this DBs and the uh, receivers. Uh, this is a kind of every day. It's a little two minute transition period in between um, two other periods. We got a cone out here set up, and this is basically simulating that release off the line of scrimmage. Uh, and then stacking this guy, stacking the defender one way or the other, kind of digging back in, getting that shoulder, owning your own shoulder, um, using your hands. And trying to fight back to the cone here. So really, it's, it's just good work, quick work. Everybody gets up, gets a shot or two, and uh, you do that every day. Again, release, you'll see a lot of different versions of kind of the foot fire, uh, trying to get this guy's base wide, trying to get him to stop his feet, trying to get his momentum one way or the other, get over the top of this guy, stack him. Uh, so really that's a pretty, uh -huh. good, pretty good drill there. Um, and I got other – I got other – Film if you guys have, if you want to peek at anything else in the meantime, um, we can kind of break here, ask any any questions kind of on that on that version of this. Coach, do you mix up combinations to the uh, away from the Y cross? Do you run like smash? We don't. Yeah, we don't. I mean, it's it's only gonna be, I, I guess the ones that uh um the ones that we uh we vary would be motions, uh, motions from different receivers. So we'll motion, we'll have a guy on the outside receiver motions in, we'll motion across the formation. We tighten the formation up and we got obviously more than 
three versions of this, right? So we have like the, we'll run it with a sniffer and he'll, he'll, uh, he'll run the, you know, he'll run his uh, out route from there, basically out of a version of 20. We'll do it out of empty. Yeah. Um, I'll pull up, I mean, if there's any other little tweak ones I, I can uh, I can find here in the meantime. What are, their, what are their questions on any of that? Coach, protection-wise, um, see when play action, the back looks like he's checking. Um, also, out of the 20 personnel, there was free release and the play action. Um, will you call five-man protection, six-man protection without play action at times for a reason, um, the timing of the route, or if, you know, game prep, you know, down a distance, what you're expecting or things like that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, when we, when we game plan it, we're looking for what's the best way to get to create space for somebody. A lot of times when we flash the back, we're trying to do something to the linebacker. We're trying to affect the linebacker to get more room for the Y really, really that's what we're, mm -hmm. that's, that's a lot of times why we do that, you know? So, and then also we want to just, we want to complement that off the, uh, off of our run game, you know, that type of thing. So, um, once they start not biting on it, then, then we know we'll have that guy. But I'll show you some uh, some other kind of some other variables. We saw some tight stuff. We saw what that looked like when we condensed the one side down. We saw a post off of it. Here's uh, uh, there's the play actions. Let's go ahead and cue this up and see what this looks like. All right, so here is uh, here's kind of what another step. We you remember those Randy Larry, the now screens um, that everybody runs where this guy kind of steps up field and boom, the ball's out of the quarterback's hands right now. This guy would come across like he would on zone. And what we're doing is we're trying to two things, right? One, we can hit a home run here. If this guy drives on the now screen. We can slip this receiver. Okay, so he's the guy who's usually stock blocking here. He's just going to slip and he's going to run the vertical route. And he's just going to sit home right there. So he basically turns into a check down and you still have your Y cross, still have your Z doing his deal. Now, if they cover this guy, that's fine. That means that we're taking some of the deep coverage away with this vertical here. And that means the next guy, the Y is the one that's going to come free. All right, here he goes wide and boom, he's got a shot at it. So he throws it to him in the hole there. All right. So not a, not a, not a bad way to do it. We might have another, another one of those couple of these here. that look pretty decent. There's actually a couple, couple in a row. For as much now screen as we run, it's 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 a good it's a good variation, right? So here he's heading like he's going to block this guy. He gets covered up. This takes the coverage away, which which helps the hole here for why it gets this safety running. See the safety here, boom. He he's out of the uh, he's out of his landmark. He's running towards the the vertical route and creates the space for him. Let's go to the next one here. Probably same same type of deal. So he's running the now screen. He's trying to slip it. All right, whole shot, boom, hits him. All right, so really, really it turns into first read is now him. Here comes the Y, though, too, right? Y is going to be open um, if this guy's not. Y is about to come a little more clean. And, again, this is off that play action as well, right? So you're taking those linebackers out of the mix a little bit. All right, then you get in trouble. Boom, find your back. He slips out. Nobody's paying attention to him. All right, big, big play there. See, we got one more of these. Again, slipping in here. Here, grass, Z works back really good by him. All right, working back in, uh, versus that coverage. So there's kind of the uh, the now screens off of it. Um, let's see what else you guys you guys like on that. Here's a, here's a version of empty. All right, so now you have, you know, you, you don't have your back in protection. It's a five-man protection. Back's just going to run to the same spot. He's going to bubble right now. Look at the space clears up for him, right? He, take, he takes two. We could actually hit this guy. We do like the uh, this guy winning over the top. Uh, so he gives him a chance, and, and he throws it there. Um, going back to the, the protections, uh, you know, Craig, that, that's a lot of times it looks like a five-man for us. Uh, with the back, it's really a six-man protection, but – we're so meticulous with, you know, taking a six inch step at, at your, at the first guy, if he doesn't trigger your next step is on your route and that should take you to your next defender that you're blocking. But if that guy doesn't come, then you're, then you're gone. I mean, you're rolling in a matter of, you know, step and a half. 
So there's a version of empty. We saw uh, we saw the 20 personnel with the post. We do 20 personnel play fake. Here's another one I was kind of talking about. Um, going to set for that. Show you what this looks like. So here's the sniffer guys in that uh, in that wing set. Okay, right here. So boom, vertical route. Y runs the cross. Z still has that post dig. Now you're now the sniffer guys in the flat. Other backs out the other way. So it's really it's another kind of version of a of 20 where you can kind of just give them another look at it different way to defend it decent hit there we got one more of these uh -huh. guy goes way over the top maybe gets away with a little push off here we'll take it but again throws that ass cheek away from coverage boom hits him all right take that we like that uh bubble that's just another way Run the bubble off of this. Guy's in motion. All right, it goes right to his spot. So now you get split flow action from the backs. He releases out the back door. Z works back. Another variation, right? So tons of tons of different ways to run it. And, and obviously we, uh, you know, going into a week, like I said, you just got to make sure that you're, um, you know, you're keeping those defenses off balance. But at the same time, you can practice those plays enough to be, to be really good at them during the week. Who else? Who coach, else? Yep, yeah. coach, those those back shoulder throws. How much are you? How much of those just a reaction to how the corner's playing it, and you got to read it on the fly? Versus pre snap, we're thinking something. Week to week, we're thinking something. Series to series, we're thinking something. Or they just have to react on that play based on how the corner's playing it. Yep. the The general rule of thumb is at, at ten yards. At ten yards. Take a peek, take a right? Ten yards. Take a peek for the back shoulder. Back throw. shoulder throw. Because the receiver doesn't the know receiver if he's going to throw that or not. Um, but going into the game, yes. the, the quarterback's the one that's got to be good in the film room, um, understanding how those guys are going to play us. But again, we're, we're looking at leverage at the snap. Is it press coverage? Is it off coverage? I, you know, I think it might, you know, I might have a chance to back shoulder him here. If you don't just immediately get off him, and your eyes just work to the next receiver. Again, it's left to right X, H, Y, Z, the back, but it's uh, I think there's some, I think it's a little bit of both, a little bit of film study and a little bit of just those same landmarks over and over again. Um, on that play is telling those guys what to do. So it really doesn't matter. I mean, obviously, like Leach goes through every stitch of film. Well, if we didn't watch any film. We would be sound against whoever we play, just the way we we read the repetition and the way we practice, the way we go over it. But you're not you're not tagging the back shoulder. It's just something you got to read on the fly, right? Correct. And it's just that's why you rep the same play a hundred times a week in practice, so that you the receivers and the quarterback are on the same page with what's going to get thrown. Yep. Yep. You know, one thing, and if you like it, if you like to throw in, you know, the designed one, we would call a stop route. We do that for four verticals. Um, four verticals, we'll tell the guy. We see it's we see it's off coverage. You see the guy's playing way off. It's a zone, soft zone. He'll go out there and signal it to him. We'll just tell him, run, run a stop route or for a back to design, back shoulder, basically. So that kid will just run the 10 yards full speed, stick his foot in the ground, his outside foot in the ground, pivot it back to the outside and catch it on, on his outside shoulder there. So that would be one we would call, but that's out of that's out of four verse. Who else? Any other any other questions on any of that? Or anything else you guys want to see? Good. I'm gonna pull up one more thing for you just to uh I got a good post-practice circuit you guys might, might get interested in. Let me see pull this up real quick. Do you run that to both sides, Coach, or do you want it to go with the, only the Y cross? Yeah, that's the only way that, that Coach uh, does it. He's been doing it for years that way. Some some teams have actually, um, you know, they'll, they'll do that. You know, those design benders, you know, like out of, out of a, a vertical route. But we just we always have the same guy running it, the same left right progression, that whole thing. Let me go to game week.
All right, so here's a – this is every day, every, every skill guy post-practice. So receivers, quarterbacks, running backs – we get a line of these student managers up. They got they got bags. We've got uh, these sticks. We got all kinds of stuff. I'm over here. What we're doing is we're trying to simulate a guy running down the sideline. We're trying to knock him out of bounds. He's got to lean back in the field to play. He gets up to that safety. He comes over the top. That's high. Hard stick outside foot. Cut back. We did a study a few years back that every time our guys didn't go out of bounds, um, we want their put their pads down too. They get lazy in this sometimes. We want those pads down nice and low. That's your first line of defense is that shoulder pad. But we did this study, and every time our guys cut a ball back, we averaged almost six yards more per play if they did that. And it's something just real simple like this. All right, running through the traffic, leaning back inside, stick your outside foot, uh, and work back work back in the field. Or even if you get tripped up and, and get tackled at that point, it, it's a better play for us, All right? So we can jump right from there, right to the next spot. We're kind of just hustling over. We got a coach here just kind of trying to – it's a distraction drill. It's kind of that old version of uh, of mesh. Um, hey, whatever, shoulders open, turns that way, split these two defenders, and again, kind of making a cut on coach here at the end. The shoulders down between the bags. Ball security, we're trying to swipe at the ball the whole time, make sure these guys are tucking it away. And again, this is everybody. This quarter, this is running backs, receivers, all, any, any skill guy we have. And it kind of gets in the last piece. So as they're doing this, they kind of jog to this next one. This is the uh, open field stick and shave drill. Um, striding over these bags, hard stick with their feet, simulating defenders here of kind of dipping their shoulders around those guys. So that's that's something we do every day, uh, every day after practice. Like, doesn't matter. Right? Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, all year, same thing. Coach, I got a question. Thank you for doing this. Um, yeah, sure. I'm thinking of like an outside B playing that curl flat. He's inside Lev on your Y. You know, how much are you allowing him to bend versus like beating him with speed and trying to stack the defender? Like, are you fighting force with force? Like while he's engaged, or are you trying to like hand fight almost maybe dip inside or try to beat him with speed? All right. So like we have a big saying too about not over coaching him. Right. So like if the, if the guy is getting mugged up, Yes, you're allowed to go over the top of that guy and beat him with speed, right? We don't want to talk about that and teach that per se, right? We hopefully the repetition of it, the guy just naturally starting to starting to find that window that in that direction. So it's not a rigid, you know, it's not a rigid thing. It's a fluid, you know, kind of rule about under Sam over Mike. Hey, man, if Sam's not letting you go underneath him, then go over the top of him. All right, and like you said, just use your speed there, get open, find the grass. You can see where the space is at, right? Yeah. Essentially, at the end of the day, we just want to make sure you guys get to where the open space is. Yeah. Get there as fast as you can because that quarterback needs to, you know, count on you being there and trust you being there on time. Right. Yep. What else we got? Any other questions or anything like that? Coach, if the middle of the field is open, but you just keep letting the wide just take the middle of the field? All day. Yep, all day. You know, at the end of the season, we go back and uh, and do our self scout. As far in terms of catches, you know, the Y is always going to lead the way in this play. The y is always going to have the most amount of catches. Probably number two is the Z uh, because he's a guy that's got a little more uh, a little more liberal uh, range there too because he's running that get run that post dig. He runs the curl. He's probably second. The back might be you know right in the mix there too. Probably third, and then it's you know kind of X and H are, are probably the last two. You know. Hopefully you get a little more X because then you're getting shots over the top. The way everybody plays us nowadays, nobody wants to get beat on, on the on the long ball from us, so we don't we don't get that as much. Anything else you guys want to see? That's good. Here's one more, one more, more drill worth looking at. Another one for skill guys. All right, so here's uh, here's two pop ups. We put these bags here and lined up as the uh, kind of out of bounds on the bottom of the numbers. So they're working again, just out here to the bottom of the numbers. They're gonna turn. We got a big boy, big boy uh, competition there first. But what we're doing here is we're trying to we're trying to basically as a defender we're trying to suck the air out of this thing. 
All right, we're tagging off on the uh, on the skill guy. Skill guy is trying to make a miss. Skill guy is trying to uh, to get skinny on him. He's trying to get the guy to get a wide base, um, one way or the other. Get his shoulder through there. And uh, full again, kind of a full speed thing. It's not a tackle drill. It's just trying to work that open field um, on, on both sides of this. Really good drill for both people. Backs are working cuts. Here's you know trying to get a jump cut in there. Again, defenders are trying to just take that air out as fast as possible. So good, good kind of crossover work. Again, this is another post practice drill. After kind of coach talks or uh, right before he talks, we, we get together, bring this one up, and we, we kind of hit this uh, rapid fire. And it's a uh, it's good work. This one pays off too, I think, in the long run. Coach, what kind of uh, different play actions do you use using this concept? Do you fake sweep or is it more a zone? Yeah, more mostly zone, mostly zone, and we will do some. Uh, we do some like the jet motion stuff, right? That, those are the two big ones. So zone flash faking across the quarterback's face or um, jet sweep action. Uh, do you have that jet formation. sweep action video? Yeah, pull up real quick. This one's actually a pretty good. Uh, it's a pretty good wrinkle because it, it actually doesn't doesn't make uh, takes everybody's eyes in the wrong direction. Is what it does. So again, this one this one's good because what you're doing is, I mean, you would think that this is pulling coverage towards where the motion guy is going, but here comes the safety screwing down the motion man. And what does that do? That gives this guy all the room in the world now because this guy just vacated. Uh, so here we throw X, fine, but obviously Y is going to be wide open here in a second. Okay, again, so here he comes. And again, you get some pressure there. Y, not a great route, but man coverage goes up and gives him gives this guy a chance. He's over the top. He likes it versus press. This kid stacks him just enough. And so the Z will come across. You can see, I mean, just, and that's one thing too. I mean, we want these defense to, the defense to communicate. We want them to make checks. We want them to get confused. We want them to do things. We want to change. So here coming across, boom, same thing. Goes through the same reads. Nothing changes for, for the Q on, on this deal. And also this guy becomes actually an out right over here. I don't know where you go with the ball, but he probably could went to him a lot sooner. So the motion man goes, if it's if this real this real soft zone like it is here, go ahead and throw it to him. Right. As you go through your read, he's not open, he's not open. You don't like the back, that means that he's open. See if there's anyone we connect on a couple more here. So yeah, basically a built-in built-in check down here, but again, just hesitates this guy just enough to give us a little crease here, just to get enough behind him. Um, short motion would be the other one. Short motion from the outside, all right? Just this guy is going to hit on the run here now. So this is actually your Y. He's outside of it. He motions. And just again, just trying to mess with their leverage or their eyes and just passing this thing off. Um, it gives a little more space. Again, if you don't like it, find a back, back to make a play for you. Again, so here that quick motion. Same guy, same guy that's on the jet sweep. Here he is this time again, being liberal, right? A little bit over the top of this guy, curling with respect to uh, Tommy's question before. Now we're just working to the next window. Find it back. Then we showed you the uh, we showed you a couple bubbles. We saw some some flash fake stuff. Here's uh, 
by the last one of the, of the motion kind of family or play action stuff. Here's here's H moving across. All right. So now it's just turning just into, turning. A, you know, your two by one, your two by one set. So either way. So now you got him motions that way. I'd like him to look for the ball here. It's be a you know, nice completion. One more of these. Same thing. And this is, again, more of a game plan. Thing. There's only a couple snaps of it. We just saw something that we liked when we did this to these guys. Your completion there. Anything else, other questions, concerns, stuff you want to see? Thanks for doing this, Coach. Yeah, yeah, appreciate it. Thanks for you guys hopping on. Coach, is this a first down play that you like? Do you like it on other situations? We usually have this all over the, uh, the script. This is, I mean, different variations, maybe on a third down, you know, that, that type of thing. So, like, this is a really pretty good against third and whatever play. Um, you know, maybe not short as much, but medium and long, there's several options on this play. You know, whatever they do, too, they can't really be right defensively. So, um, big third down play for us, big first down play for us. Uh, anytime he kind of gets in, you know, the quarterback Scott, he's got really carte blanche. He's got the keys to the portion on this thing on the offense. Leach always says, you know, you call a bad play, it's on the quarterback because we, you know, we signal something in. If you don't like it, you're the guy out there. You're the last, you're the last guy who sees it, who sees the defense, sees that pre-snap read, change the play if you don't like the play. So, yeah, the, usually this is all over the script, up and down our script. Anything else? What do, you, what do you think, Rob? You're great. I appreciate it. We all do. Good stuff. Good to see some Jersey guys, man. I'm down here in the South. I'm like my cousin Vinny down here. So it's uh, <laughs> good to see you guys. <laughs> Always great yeah. seeing you, Eric. Thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. I'll talk to you soon. All right. Hey, Eric, can we get your contact info? Yeah, yep. Um, cell phone number is 908-642-6420. I'm sorry, I got to shut up. Just what was it again? 908-642-5120. Kept that Jer that Jersey area code, obviously. Oh, yeah. That's that's what I'm starting to comment on. When you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but hey, hit me up, hit me up anytime. I'm always I'm always pretty quick on text. So if I don't answer your phone call, I'll get, I'll get back to you for sure. Eric, I, I do a special teams. Uh, we have a special teams group, guys from about five six different states on it and all too. Love to have you do some yeah. special teams with us one of these days. Awesome. Yeah, definitely. Let me, let me know. Great. Awesome. Coach, do you, do you recruit a lot of guys from New Jersey? Yeah, it's more, uh, you know, some spot offers. You know, there's got to be a, uh, you know, we kind of always talk about it. There's got to be like a mutual interest from, from the kid and wanting mm -hmm. to come down here, you know, just, just because – you know, we're, we're pretty loaded up in the, in the South, just in terms of our recruiting area being Mississippi, first of all, Georgia, Alabama, Louisiana, Texas, you know, Florida, some, and then it's, uh, but we do, we got, we got a kid coming from, uh, we, get, we got a walk-on guy coming from Pope John. We had a kid from uh, Pramus Catholic that was on the roster here about, about a year ago. Um, yeah, so you'll, you'll get one or two, but it, you know, it's, it, it's, it's unique down here. You know, it's, it's, it's definitely, uh, I mean, the, Great weather, obviously, man. Warm weather, but you know, we got a lot of hunters and fishermen, and uh, you know that kind of stuff. So you really got you got to want to want to be here and want to fit in. You want to play SEC West football, then uh, and you don't care about you know anything else, and then giddy up, you know. 
and shoot, always New Jersey's been, you know, pound for pound, one of the best, best states per capita, man, pumping out kids, you know, blue chip kids, you know, pretty impressive. Yeah, this was great. I appreciate it. Okay. And I'm going to send this to our, the rest of our coaches uh, in an email. You tell awesome. me when you want me to stop the record, Coach Davis. We're good. Stop it? Yeah. Okay.